Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Archero video coming to the channel. For those who don't know, know me, my name is Smash Mode. I love video games, <laughs> mostly action RPGs, but uh, yeah, survival horror is a strong second. Then coming in third would be anything, any RPG type game, especially Final Fantasy VII coming up. Gonna be on that game all day. I think that doesn't come out till March. Back to the task at hand. Have a few tips to get you started on progressing really fast. Um, this is going to be in the perspective of a free-to-play player. So if you're spending a bit of cash, I imagine you will progress a bit faster than I have. So first off, number one, most important tip is save 1,500 gems and buy this character Helix. His damage is significantly higher than any of the starting heroes. He's very tanky, gets a good amount of health, and as he gets damaged, his damage increases quite a bit. Um, this is just a bonus tip. Do not make the same mistake I made. Do not level your starting hero above level 20. <laughs> level 20 will be enough. You'll get the max HP bonus to all your other heroes of 100. I made that mistake. Um... Yeah, I didn't realize how expensive it would be, or how slow you would level to level 60. Eventually you can get that 4% HP, but that is way down the road. So as you can see, he gets 8 attack and 25 HP per level. As opposed to Helix, who gets 10 attack and 43 HP per level. That's a 25% increase in damage, and a almost a 70% increase in health per level. So 1,500 gems, you can get that pretty quick. Probably around your fourth day, you get gems pretty fast when you first start playing. Second tip, very important, is find out what your favorite weapon is. We're going to be using this one in my favorite level. This is a saw blade. It has really fast attack speed. I like it because impact tends to push back enemies. And even it can prevent certain enemies from attacking if you're attacking fast enough. If you're into heavy crits, probably go with the Brave Bow. I imagine if you have a full crit build, it would be pretty amazing. I think, I think this, I don't know what the legendaries are going to be, but I think this may be the weapon that we switch to one day. Then you have your slow attack speed, massive damage. Which has a high chance to execute. I have not tried this out. I just, I can't deal with slow attack speed. It is not fun to me. But that 30% below HP execute sounds very OP. And this, my wife's favorite, the Tornado. Um, the damage on this is insane. It's just, there are so many of these on screen, I personally cannot dodge enemy attacks. That's why I do not use it. Okay, so here's my greatest tip for how I've been successful. Is when I'm really busy and can't play, I'll just go into a game. Let me also mention that this game is a grind fest. <laughs> if you're looking to progress, get in the top 1%, you are going to need to grind a ridiculous amount. But if you get bored of grinding and you need, it, need a day off, <laughs> you know, just log in once every four hours takes four hours to completely fill up your energy and just run in there and just die four times you get a good amount of these coins I'll just do it one more time we only need five energy for the level I'm going to show you but if you do this for a day you come back you know you'll have a lot of coins especially if you get lucky yeah I'm not sure when we're going to be able to beat this level we're dying in two hits as we get further. They're doing over 3,000 damage. Pretty rough. If you're trying to grind out gear, the best tip I can give you is complete any, any of the hardest levels that you can complete. That's going to give you the, uh, the greatest yield in gear. Barons of Shadow, this is by far my favorite level. 
probably going to be a little easy for us now. But I think the drop rate here was significantly higher than every other level. And the reason being is there's 10 bosses. Excuse me, allergies are acting up. There are 10 bosses in here. And what, what makes these boss battles unique is they also have mobs with the bosses. So I think those are all the best tips I can give you. And let's take a look at my favorite level. Also, um, this isn't really a, a secret tip, but make sure you do these each day. Flying bullets and up close dangers, they give you massive rewards. Here we go. I have not done this level for over a week. And I did grind this level for almost a week. It was just so much fun. Even when I knew I could progress, I just kept playing it because I really enjoyed it. Some of these ba um, boss battles are pretty intense. Definitely not this one. Let's take a couple hits. Oh man, now we're going to get that little... Okay, I must have taken a hit. It's very important to uh, take a couple hits in these levels because if you don't, instead of this lucky wheel, um, a little devil is going to pop out. And... Yeah, you don't get any uh, bonuses for that. You have to trade some life for some moves. Which usually is some pretty epic moves. But you want to get those extra coins from the Lucky Wheel. This is the only combat tip I have. There's only one. Let's see. We'll use it on a different boss, though. Wow, this is so easy now. See, look at all those drops. Ah, oh, and I messed up. I was supposed to take a couple hits. I will need a tougher boss than this for the only combat tip I have. Yeah, these used to be so difficult. Like, the amount of hits they used to take. Oh, our armor does uh, chain lightning too, so we don't have to attack. Probably my... My favorite item so far. There is another armor too that poisons the entire room. Which I will have to try that one out someday. Alright, so this is a good example. This boss can get pretty crazy. So let's say you're in a situation where you get hit a few times and you panic. Don't hesitate to pause the game. Pause the game and give yourself like 5 seconds to take a few deep breaths. It's a double-edged sword, because in my opinion, this makes the game less fun. <laughs> but when you're pushing and you're trying to get as far as you can on the, uh, on the ladder, I would say just take a few deep breaths. Once you've calmed down, press that play button and start it up again. That is the only combat tip I have. Yeah, another reason why you want to take a couple hits, if you can take a couple hits per boss battle here, is the coins on this lucky wheel give way more money than they do on any other lucky wheel. If you're level 6 or level 7 and you get the 3 coins on that lucky wheel, it'll give you over a thousand coins. Ooh, fireballs for days. Uh oh, let's get out of there. Uh oh. Gotta take a couple hits though. One, two, there we go. Get out of here, dragon. No, we did not want that. We almost got the three coins again. I have seen this level give as much as 11,000 coins. Which is not that much anymore. Level 10 can give 15 to 17,000. But it was when we first unlocked this level. And it is more than level 8. And it is very close to the amount of coins you can get in level 9. Unless you get a uh, an epic lucky wheel start. Darn it, I forgot to take hits. But I've never spoken and played this game before, so I'm going to make some mistakes. This boss could be intense. There's four little wolves with them. We got lucky, though. Now we gotta take one hit. Two hits. Come on, hit me again. Hit me. There we go. There we go, the three coin. That'll probably give us 700. Gave us over 800. Very nice. I 
Ow, this is... Man, there's a lot of dodging right here. See, you can see how this could be intense, especially if you're getting dropped in one or two hits. Ah. <laughs> we can do this. No, we got hit when I wasn't trying to get hit. Yeah, this level will... Uh, we took our second hit, so don't need to take me on purpose. And we're lucky the invulnerable shield prevented us from taking a third hit. Attack speed or attack boost? We already have a good amount of attack speed. Let's hope for three coins again. But I think mastering this level actually increases your skill level in the game quite a bit. Up until... I'd say this was the first level where I felt like... I wasn't going to be able to beat it in a long time. Prior to that, I had always felt that I could beat levels in a day. Oh, 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 got it again. Nah, that was a little less that time. 700 that time. Oh, and this boss. I still might lose to this boss. Yeah, I probably will. I thought this boss was impossible. And the first time I beat it, it was just pure luck. I had a ridiculous roll on skills. That's another thing, too. Oh, yeah, we're getting dropped. We're getting dropped. I'm in panic mode. Panic mode? <laughs> Barely survived. That is my favorite level. If you ever make it here, if you play the game long enough to get here, I promise you, you will enjoy it. It is a lot of fun. I thank you all for watching. If you try out Archiro, let me know what you think of the game in the comment section below. Y'all have a great day.